One of the bigger sports stories, though, is uh, The Rock, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, and his ex-wife, and a um, – uh, I'm going to blank on the company name. Uh, what's it here? Uh, Redbird Capital, a private equity firm, purchased the XFL from his former uh, employer, Vince McMahon, uh, chairman of the WWE, formerly the WWF. Uh, this is a big move, in my opinion. I'm not saying that this will overtake. The NFL is going to need a feeder system. The NFL's still 50-50 of whether or not they're going to play this upcoming fall. I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced they have the protocol. And uh, I don't know. I, I, I straight quarter of the iron tot. Vince was looking to get rid of it, and I don't know. I don't know what that. Um, I don't know what that company or what that with the XFL was valued at. But 15 million dollars. Man, that's almost like a steal this day and age for a company like that. Oh, with all the marketing and the teams already in place, the city's already contractually obligated to provide something should they move forward with the deal. $15 million, The Rock will make that in a third of a movie. And <laughs> he didn't even pay the full amount because he got you know investors along. So let's say he put in 3 to $5 million of his own money. Just to say you bought the XFL, that's worth it alone just for the marketing for the next movie that's coming up. And I do have one other point. The XFL is what eight teams, uh, so yeah. eight eight teams can <clears throat> figure out a way to play inside a bubble of some sort where the NFL is too big to pull something like that off. So mm -hmm. if the NFL is um, delayed or doesn't happen this year, the XFL could probably pull off a season of football with like limited exposure to uh to the COVID 19 yeah i i, I thought, saw one of the interesting things it's so it's uh dan d-a-n-y his former wife uh who's now the only female owner of a uh or owner or some sort of, I, 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 damn it i keep flipping back and forth between the article i don't want to read i don't want to read it all i just want the cliff notes uh so female in, in power in one of these major sports if you're going to call the xfl a major sport it's a brand a tier two brand of a major sport. Uh, I'm not really sure if it's advisable to get into business with your ex-wife, but he's the rock and uh, that, that's, that's all good and fine. And I agree with what you're saying. Uh, they, they're small enough to pull off this um, uh, abbreviated, smaller bubble like thing uh, and appease the fans, appease the, the U S audience that's starving for football and sport. Um, I, I was shocked, but I was excited. I also know that the rock has been trying to get into, he said he, he, he'd been dying to get into ownership somehow and, and Vince didn't want to do it. And you know, for a fact, when they kick this off, he's going to give you one of those like, with the eye lifts. And then of course, do you smell, do you smell what he's cooking? Yeah. It's gotta happen. <laughs> gotta. If it doesn't happen, I'd be, I'd be very upset. <laughs> you just turn it off. Yep. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how long I'll actually keep it on anyway, but if I don't see that, I will be very upset. I just think The Rock needs to go full in with it, like with the parody of what's going on, because you know you're not the NFL. And I mean, I'm not saying like go to the he hate me uh, jerseys or anything like that, but, you know, maybe a little bit more fun on the field, maybe get the referees involved, maybe have like, uh, you know, a little more pushing and shoving with the officials and things like that. Bad call, you know, and maybe a. Maybe a rock bottom here or there. Maybe the rock goes onto the field like for replays himself. You know, some of that fun, stupid stuff that could make it entertaining. And by the way, he has this. Um, I don't know if you've seen it. He's already doing like the Titan games right now. It, yeah, uh, it's a glorified gladiators. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah but it, it's it's the gladiators. But like if it's it's like you're trying to be real with the American gladiators, right. and they are like in shape, CrossFit esque type amateurs that are going in and competing in this thing that might be a good feeder system to the xfl get some guys uh, or this is another thing i was thinking about mike tyson has now started this legends league since he's coming back and he's so he was trying to get like former professional athletes that are maybe just past their prime but feel like they can still compete might be a good way to start into that get in business with mike tyson have some old school legends like herschel walker could probably still come back and uh <laughs> and, and run the ball if you wanted to. Nice. Do you think it'd be nice to watch fifty some odd year old Herschel Walker run yep. a football? Absolutely. Christ, we'll get let's get Bo in there and Barry. Big Barry, you know, he still goes some miles on those Hold legs. On. Herschel Walker just fought in the MMA like two years ago. That was like ten years ago. Look at um, it. <laughs> he's 
Yeah. I guarantee he's still in shape enough to beat down some of these like double A style football guys. I I would give. I mean, he's he's fifty two first of all, and then let's see here with the uh, personal life mixed martial arts. 2010, 2011, strike four. So nine and 10 years ago. <clears throat> so you're welcome for that tidbit. Uh, <laughs> you're talking about guys that are 52. No, I could think like, I mean, it, it's, it's tough with that. Tough with football because it's so speed related. And guys who had come off a knee, uh, a knee surgery who just can't, you know, you wonder why some of these like DPs who, who are only five, five or six years in the league who are two or three years removed from a Pro Bowl, Pro Bowl because they can't cover anymore because they can't lat- move laterally with some of these receivers. And, you know, if you don't take care of your legs, you, you know, the, the best of avail- the best ability is availability, et cetera, et cetera. I'm not sure. I'm not sure the route to go is like former, for, former players, especially ones in their fifties, but. Okay. I know. was just throwing Herschel Walker out there because it was the first name that came to mind of somebody that could potentially still compete in a lower level, quote unquote, professional sport but let's say rob gunkowski right let's say he didn't come back to the nfl this year Mm -hmm. and it was like hey rob you think you want to come over and play the xfl this year he would annihilate and murder people he could play linebacker he could play running back he could do whatever he wanted to on that field and be dominant yet he'd still be a retired nfl football player i'm just saying there's there okay it just makes some more parody out of the thing and stop trying to pretend like this is a top quality product because it's not. Find a different way to make your product top quality because you're not going to be at the competitive level of the NFL. So, you know, like minor league baseball, have some fun with it. Shoot some air cannons with shirts and stuff at people. Some uh, some wrestling matches Shoot at halftime. Out of air cannons yeah. <laughs> into, into pools of hot dogs. <laughs> yeah. For those of you who have been listening to us from day one, that's uh, that's an old school joke. That's, that's right. uh, Yeah, that's a throwback. That, that's, that, that's older than Herschel Walker. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Indeed. Well, well, good luck to him. Good luck to his wife and the investing group, 15 million. I think that's <laughs> pennies to the dollar for, for that company. And like you said, what, a third of the movie? Rock just co- would come on to set and go, like, oh, what are my lines? Yep. Okay. 15 million. Thank you. And then that would be it. Yeah. Yeah. No, it, no, that's a steal. I mean, it's not a steal for you or I because we would just lose $15 million. Mm-hmm. But somebody like The Rock will figure out a way to at least make him and his investment group's money back. And yeah. some other moron will come in and buy it for twelve million, right. and they'll have made like three million dollars in marketing profit off of it. It's at yeah. least worth getting to like the fifth tier of Fast and Furious spinoffs. <laughs> I think we're only on like tier three or four. So, I mean, we got a little ways to go. Right. So, <laughs> yeah, it, he's definitely a character in the um, in the Universal Studios ride down in Orlando. So he's probably getting residuals from that too.